Welcome to Mastery Max Cheese Bites. Today, Mastery Max is going to teach us how to do our alphabet books. So here we go. Here's Mastery Max. And there's the alphabet that we can do with movable alphabet letters. And we can use our traceable alphabet book as well. But today we're going to do the alphabet that looks like that. So, first of all, you are going to need an alphabet book. So, we will take an interline book, which will look like this. And some of them have white covers that look like this, too. So, I'll pick the yellow one so that you can see it a little better. Then you will open it to the middle, and you will count eight spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And from the bottom, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to cut on the middle line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want to check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to cut in the middle line. And I've opened it because it's easier if you cut across from one side. Go to the middle and then come in from the other side. And that way your pages end up being the same size. Make sure I get it on the right line. And you might need to get your mom or your dad to be able to do this for you. So therefore we have two books and they're half each. And then I'll just put these away because I have another one here ready to go. All right, so you'll open your book, and you can put your name on the front, and then open it, and on the first page, put the word alphabet. And there we have the word alphabet. Now, I want you to remind you, when you are picking up your pencil, I want you to hold it properly as we have in the picture. So put your pencil on the table like this. Hold it with your thumb and your finger. Then you can lift it up from the bottom, put it in between, and the middle finger goes on the side to be the boss so, or the helper. The bossy finger is at the top. Let me show you again. Put it on the table. Pick it up with your two fingers. This finger you can lift up, bring it over here, and then the helper on the side. And then your pencil is holding it the right way so you can write for a long time. I will use a black one because you will be able to see me better. But I'll have to remember, when I pick it up, two fingers together, bring it back, and I have the bossy finger on the top. When you've done that, we're going to turn to the next page, and we're going to do the figure eight. And you've learned this from your motif writing book. So, if you haven't done that yet, you'll be able to do that when you're learning how to do the motifs. So, we're going to go... I'm going to turn an extra page just so that we can't see through because I'm using a black pen. So, we'll go left, right, left, right. Three times. Left, right, left, right, left right, left, right. And because we do it every day, we just do it three times. Then in the middle, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. And we're in the middle. Now, on the right hand side, we'll begin to do the alphabet. And when you're done, it will look like this. And remember the G and the T have a line all by themselves. So take out your card that looks like this, 
and we'll put it in the top so that I can look at it. All right, watch as I make each letter. Remember, no letters come from the bottom. All letters start at the top. C. Big D, little d, or uppercase and lowercase. E. F. All letters from the top. And G, sometimes we call that the goalie, and it comes from the bottom. Then we do H. I, and we're trying to keep them underneath each other, J, K, L, M. Now I'll leave a space and I'll go N, O, and start your O at one or two o'clock. P, Q, R, S. Remember, T gets a line all by itself because he's the trainer. And I usually like to put him on the right-hand side of the red line that you can see going down the side. U, V. W, X, Y, and Z. So there we have the alphabet in manuscript. Now we can turn our page if you're doing it in cursive, and we can do the cursive alphabet. And we'll do all the capital letters first by themselves, and then we will do the small ones. So I'll take my alphabet that I have cursive, and I can look at it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now put A to G on one line. H, I, J, K, L, M, and then N, O, P, Q. I actually made the Q the wrong way, so I'm just going to do it on the on the top. Q R S T on the next line. U V W X. Whoop. Y. So it's a neat thing that we practice this every day because we get better each time we do it. All right. So there we have the cursive letters. And I think because I actually made the Q wrong, I'm going to try one line of it over here. I'll just do four of them over here. All right. Now let's go on this side and we're going to turn over and I will do the lowercase. And they're joined, that's why we do them separately. So I go up to M and then I do the N on the other side. Or on the next line. And there we're done. Remember our pencil hold? 
we pick up our pencil flip it over the side I think that's so much fun to do and then for I'm holding my pencil with the bossy finger on top now I'm going to go to my stickers and I've done putting a sticker on each page because I've done that for the day or I might want to put a stamp so if you want to buy a stamp like that you can put a stamp and then when people look at our books they look so pretty so you can buy some stamps and you can make your books look nice so because remember writing and printing has been made so that other people like to read it so there's our alphabet so have fun doing your alphabet every day see you later master max will teach us something again another day bye for now